hi welcome back to me and mon ami now if you're a regular viewer of this channel you'll know just how much we sort of love our citron and me apart from one thing and it is a massive thing for us which is the temperature that this thing gets inside partly because it's parked here in the sun and partly because it just gets very very hot down here in the south of france and right now there is a monster heat wave it's 34 degrees by day it's 28 degrees by night but recently as we've been sort of driving around we've been sort of testing the bits of the car and trying to work out where the heat came from and today in this video i am going to use this temperature gun to try and um, show you just where the heat is coming from in this vehicle and perhaps that'll give us a route to solving it so as you can see elton has been sat in bright sunshine in 34 degree heat not to be recommended but i'm afraid we don't have a choice this is the only place we can park now normally we put a sheet on the front but for the purposes of this i've just left it um, out so let's see what the actual temperature is in here um, if you come in here mr boo oh my God. if you look at the the thermometer at the front here it's off the chart it's sort of headed towards 60 and then stopped the one at the front is well it ceased to work that's just gone into meltdown now obviously we wouldn't normally leave these two battery packs here like this so exposed to the sun uh, really not good for them but um, we've done it for the purpose of this but anyway what we want to do is try and work out where the major source of heat is so we've got this heat gun let's check first the front windscreen so here we go on the front windscreen we're at 149.1 uh, let's check on the roof here the roof glass 163.5 and that does have the the, the sun blind on it believe it or not uh, over here which is slightly in the shade this window is 122 um, the door here again in the shade uh, 132 um, but the the thing we're really really interested in is this bit here uh, comes in at 132 again the glass um, but what we're really interested in is the black roof now Mr. Boo had noticed that because he sat further behind me, he could feel the heat coming onto his head and it was nothing to do with the glass. It was coming down through this black. So this is why we got the heat gun. So if you take a look up here, let's put the heat gun on that bit of roof. That's 155, 159, 160.4. Now that I don't think will even be the hottest bit because if you come up here to this side, if you can see this, Mr. Boo, we are at 168.2. Now, sometimes these metal bars get too hot to even touch. And if you touch that for more than 10 seconds, you'll burn your hand right now. Uh, the temperature of that is a staggering 169. Uh, it peaked at 169. Yeah. 169.4. Now, if you go to the front here, I would say this would be the hottest spot indeed it is there in the black is 173.5 and on the metal at the front there we've reached 158 but 173.5 is the highest temperature we've managed to record in here uh, so the air temperature is 60 degrees centigrade whatever that converts into into fahrenheit but the actual bits of it here the roof etc are just staggeringly staggeringly hot if you look out here it shows 167 and obviously it's breathing a little bit out here so clearly the roof i mean you can't touch that you you it's off <laughs> uh, the roof is the major offender so what we're going to now do is put our tinfoil wrap on the front and our tinfoil wrap on the back and when i say tinfoil it's a proper sort of uh, uh, quilted multi-layered sun resistant thing uh, it's not one of those 2.99 ones you get in the bazaar shops um, and we're going to put it front and back and we're going to see then tomorrow morning what difference that has made to the temperature of the roof and whether that might just give us a clue 
as to how we could, uh, well, at least mitigate this pretty severe problem. So this is how we've been putting this, uh, this first sheet on, which is sort of, it's a big um, reflective sheet that's actually made for an SUV. And I got it because I thought, well, it's gonna cover quite a lot of the roof of the car as well as the windscreen. Um, and they're available on Amazon. I'll give you a link or something at the bottom. Um, it's not a sponsored video, I can assure you. They're about 25 euros, which I think is quite steep, but they are quite well made and they're proper thick. They're not just a bit of cruddy tin foil. But what we're going to attempt to do this time is put this one on the front and then take the other one to the back and see if we can cover the whole thing like a, like a spatchcock chicken. So we're now going to go for the second one. Hope nobody pinches them. 54 euros worth of spatchcock chicken uh, covering. See if we can get in this. Very well packaged. So let's put our second one on. See if we can sort of cover the whole thing. Um, this one looks slightly different to it. Oh no, maybe I got it the wrong way around. That's it. So there we go. So it's certainly going to cover the whole roof if we manage to tuck it in. I mean, it's not the neatest thing in the world, but believe me, we would do anything to avoid trying to start shooting an adventure and rig up the cameras and everything we have to do in sort of 60 degree heat. Um, and also, once you start that hot, it is so hard to get this car cool. It really is. Um, we've tried all kinds of tactics. Sometimes we actually do something which one subscriber suggested who lived in Dubai and apparently he said open one car door and then with the other one with the window shut use it as a kind of fan to, to, to sort of push out the hot air um, and uh, that's what he did um, and it does work a bit so um, we get that in there and then um, We come round here and we manage to unify the whole thing. And uh, well, it's as good as we're going to get. We can, we, at least we've got total coverage on the roof. Um, we can probably fasten it in a little better. But what we're going to do now is just leave that overnight. The sun will undoubtedly rise as it always does tomorrow morning um, and bake these things. And we'll just see what kind of impact we can have uh, particularly on the roof because I have a feeling the black plastic roof is the biggest sinner. So it's the next morning and it's the morning of the hottest day of the year here. It uh, could be at 35 today. Elton has been uh, clothed in his tinfoil for the night. So let's now get in, see what the overall temperature, and he's had the sun on him for about an hour and a quarter, something like that, an hour and a half. Um, see the overall temperature and then we'll do an analysis with the, the temperature gun and see what difference, if any, this has made to the black plastic roof. So, in we go. It's pretty warm, but if you come here, Mr. Boot, the overall temperature is 40. Now that's still a long way from pleasant. Uh, and on the front dashboard, it's reading 37.6, if you can see that. Um, but yesterday, if you remember, we were off the scale. We were over 50 and the front thing had, had melted down. So at least you're getting in here at a mere 40 degrees. But let's check out the roof now with the temperature gun. So you remember um, yesterday at the front here, how high this got? Uh, we're now pointing it at the roof and we've got the roof down to 107.4. If you can see this, Mr. Boo, 107.4. Uh, okay, let's try it on the metal. If you'll bring the camera back in, please. Uh, well, we'll try it on the, on the glass roof there. That's 104. Try it at the back here. That's about 108. And on the metal itself, the metal frame, which I was saying to you yesterday got so hot I couldn't actually touch it. We've got that down to 110. Um, and the back windscreen, where it's been slightly exposed, but the sun's not at that angle, down to about 100. So you can see that this foil wrap over the uh, black plastic roof has made a big difference in terms of the heat. 
Um, which begs the question, what is the solution? Well, a while back, um, one of our subscribers was suggesting, well, quite a few subscribers have suggested a sort of wrap, a reflective wrap. But often they've talked about tinting the windows, uh, but somebody suggested that you actually change this black plastic for a wrap that's in white. In other words, the black, which of course soaks up the heat, uh, it could well be part of the problem. I and mean, if you think about sort of Greek, um, little Greek houses, they're all white. The reason is that the white reflects the heat off. It doesn't, it doesn't soak it up. Um, but I'd be interested to know what you think, because um, usually the hive mind of our subscribers comes up with brilliant ideas. It crossed my mind that if you were to insulate inside of the black, would that make a difference? My feeling is the heat would still go in and then you'd still have it trapped inside the, the actual cab. Um, but let us know what you think. But there you see it is the black plastic roof in conjunction with the glass. Uh, which is causing the citronomy to get so hot. And it is not just a problem for us here in a very hot climate. I know lots of people in Britain, even with the summer that you've had this year, have messaged me and said, you know, when the car's parked in the sunshine, it is really difficult to get into, particularly, of course, because there's no air con to get rid of it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give us a like, please give us a comment, and remember, <coughs> stay charged. Bye.